Hello, Reverend Angela Palacios. I want to share with you the thought that King David had a very checkered past, and yet he is described as a man after God's own heart. I want to offer to all the men who are with us, I want to offer you the opportunity to lay all of your checkered past before the Lord. All you have to do is be sorry, sorry enough to say, I regret and I repent, and know that it's covered by the blood on the cross. And now I want you to consider what does it mean to be a man after God's own heart? What do you think that means? I want you to consider in the next few days, and ladies as well, what does it mean to be a person who is so pleasing to God in some way that it seems to cover the multitude of sins once they're confessed? A person after God's own heart is someone who loves, someone who cares, someone who is kind and generous and gracious, someone who's forgiving because that person knows what it is to need forgiveness, somebody devoted to the God who has given everything for that person, who knows how to praise and knows how to pray and knows how to worship. And so if you need to learn how to do any of those things, I encourage you, get a spiritual director, get a counselor, do some spiritual exercises online, read a book, study the scripture and, and rest in the spirit with the Lord. Whatever you need to do to ask God to grant you the blessing of being a person after God's own heart. And gentlemen, I'm sure that your family will be blessed if you take seriously the call to be a man after God's own heart. God bless you all.